Hey guys, Radio again. Um, gonna do, an do another Procaster tutorial on the preferences, <clears throat> and this time we are gonna be dealing with the video tab. So let's go to the video tab and see what we got. Source is for external cameras. So by default, Procaster deals with two um, input types. There's there's screen and then there's game, but it also has the capability to work with an external video source. Um, which can be a webcam or a capture card if you have one, and uh, that's how you will. Uh, that's how you would go about recording your capture card. Is um, you would have selected here maybe your uh, Dazzle USB or whatever, and you'd be able to pick that. And uh, when you started your video back here, as long as your Dazzle was selected right here, when you hit go live, um, you would make sure that. Oh shit! I'm in game mode. You would go to screen mode, have your USB device activated, and when you hit go live, down here in the bottom, you would hit camera. And what that would broadcast would be, oh damn it, I can't click on it because of the, uh, the overlay that I have, but what that would broadcast would be the, uh, the data from your capture card, just automatically. It doesn't have to be showing on your screen. It doesn't have to be doing anything. So you could split your uh, if you could split your source from say your Xbox to a uh, a center point, right? And uh, then you split it one part going to the TV and one part going to your capture card. Um, that would allow you to play it on your TV like normal and stream on the site at the exact same time. Um, so let's. Uh oh. Come on now. Shenanigans. Oh, I can click on live over here on the actual computer, huh? Oh, I see what's happening. It's kind of freaking out because uh, I'm doing this on a shitty laptop. <laughs> okay. Um, just wait just a moment for that to go on live. Oh, wow. This is going to take so long. Okay, there we go. So let's go back to our settings. Um, I hope that that was a clear explanation. If you didn't get it, um, watch it a couple more times. Maybe you'll understand what I was saying. Um, you can go into the settings of these, and that's, you know, if you have like a really high quality capture card, you can give it a higher, uh, a higher size, which will give it a higher quality, um, a higher resolution, rather. Um, color space is just what kind of color you're going to look for. Um, again, that's just all about the quality of your device. Um, cropping, you can tell it to automatically crop in or out of the edges of your um, device, recording device. As you can see, this right here is just my webcam. I can tell it to only count this very center portion, and that's all it will broadcast. It won't broadcast out here. Okay? We good? Uh, cancel. Okay, um, encoder uh, H.264 is a uh, it gives a lot better file size on you know for me I think and better file quality um, VP uh, onto VP6 that uh, ends up as what is it MP4 instead of uh, uh, it doesn't really matter anywho um, the on to v or H.264 is the only way that you can broadcast to uh, mobile stream. If you don't intend to do that, I wouldn't bother. Output resolution is the quality of your stream, um, the resolution, the size, essentially. Um, and uh, let, let's call it the DPI. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just making shit up. Um, if you uh, it, Obviously, a higher resolution is better, but it's also harder on your computer. So, um, you know... Know your limits, know your computer's limits, and uh, do it accordingly. I find uh, 640 by 480 is pretty fair. Um, 800 by 600 if you think your con your computer can handle it, but you know it's not essential. Um, aspect ratio is uh, you know you have two choices, 69 or 43. Um, I'm not sure if more choices show up if your card is capable of that, um, or if your monitor is in a 1610 ratio. Um, I always do. Uh, I always 
do not lock ratio and do not crop source to match because when you lock ratio, it doesn't allow you to uh, drag the corners dynamically. Um, you don't really know what that means yet, but I'll uh, I'll explain it in just a minute. Uh, your target frame rate is the frame rate that you want to hit uh, as you record your stream. Um, 30 is a pretty good standard. Uh, I think the human eye can see like a max of 60. So if your frame rate's any higher than 60, I don't think that's the I don't think that helps. Um, and I could be totally off on that statistic. It might be that the human eye can't see past 24. I'm not sure. Um, target bit rate is the uh, kilobytes per second that you uh, that you hope to transfer. Um, it's uh, Procaster does a weird thing where if you can't hit your uh, your kbps, um, it'll actually lower the kbps by lowering the frame rate uh, and lowering the quality. So you know, um, again, set your kbps accordingly. Uh, if you can't if you can't hit a good target you need a better computer or a better connection. That, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, keyframe intervals, I always leave it at two. Um, I'm sure I could go into an explanation of that, but it really, just leave it at fucking two. Who cares? And deinterlacing, uh, no. <laughs> uh, so about the, about the live drag and drop, or the, uh, the box drag and drop, uh, what you can do is when you go live on your screen, you'll see that uh, the corners of my box here are dynamic, right? So I can uh, I can change the aspect ratio by dragging and dropping the corners into the locations that I want them to. So if all I want to show is the Procaster window, um, if all I want to show is the Procaster window, well, fuck it, I'll do it with my main one here. Um, I would just go in like that. You see how the aspect ratio is changing? I can do a very wide screen or a totally standard screen. Just like that. Very not difficult stuff. And I'm still live here. Um, okay, well, that's it for the video tab tutorial. Um, more coming.